Today on My Engineering Projects, I'll show you how to build this simple yet effective solar filter for about 15 bucks. A solar filter is required in order to view the sun safely. Okay, it's very important that you never look at the sun through your telescope without all of the protective equipment. It must have a solar filter and everything has to be capped off so that absolutely no light can reach either the reflector mirror or the lens or whatever you have for your particular telescope. Without the proper protection, you could be permanently blinded instantly due to the high magnification of the sun on your eyes. So please be careful. So I'm going to be using this solar filter film. It's very fragile, but it works great if you install it correctly. And I'll put a product link in the description below. To make this easier, I decided to print a cap that goes on to the top of the telescope. And this will have a nice flat surface that we can install the film to, and I think it was important to print it out. Okay, so here's the part. And this uh, it's just going to slip over the end of the telescope. And then on this surface right here, this is where we'll put the filter. Now when you're opening this, be very, very careful. There are four places where it's taped. And when you slice it, you want to be very careful that you don't damage the um, film. So I opened it up and I got a couple of places. And there it is. Now, it's black on one side and shiny on the other. The shiny side goes out. So the shiny side is going to be like this. And I've designed this so that this will fit completely. So what we're going to do is, um, there are a couple ways that you could do this. You could just tape it, I suppose. And I could also spend the time to do another ring and then make a nice cap. But I think what I'll do is uh, just get a piece of cardboard and then I will make a little cap out of cardboard because it's just so quick. All right, we're ready to put this on. And so I want to make sure that absolutely no light leaks, but I also want it to be something pretty easy to do. So I already measured this out in my CAD and I know that it fits. So what I'm going to do, I need to secure it in a minimum of four places. before I put the cardboard on. Now, try not to touch the film because we want to keep it as clean as we can. Now, then we can uh, fold these down or trim them off or, or whatever. doesn't really matter. The important thing is that this is completely light proof and we're uh, having it installed correctly. All right, so I'm going to be using this on a power seeker. And so up here, I've got these caps. I have caps on both ends because we want this one completely blocked. I'm not going to use this. Please don't look through it. And then, um, this goes on like this, but we want to secure it because if the wind blew or something and got knocked off, then we want to make sure that it stays on there. So I'm doing this inside, and I suggest you do it inside 
or in the shade, inside would probably be preferable. So I'm going to put some tape on here and make sure that this is secure on all four sides. Okay, I've moved outside, set everything up, make sure it's all secure, and now it's time to see if we can find the sun. Okay, here's the simplest way that you can do the uh, find the sun in the daytime. I've created this part here that mounts on, so it's parallel with this right here. And that means that it's almost perfectly aligned in this direction right here. Now the up and down is not quite right, but look very closely and you will see, so right here, you see that the image of this one is not even going through the circle, which means we have to move the telescope. So let's do that. So you see as we move it, see it's almost there, so it's almost through there, and that's your first indication that we're getting close. You can also see the second image. We do not have a full sun. Keep moving. Okay, so now we don't have any shadow right here, which means that the image is going through the hole. We have a pretty good chance of the alignment being correct. So this is the time to start looking into the eyepiece and see how close we are. Now I don't have quite an image in there, so let's try a little bit more. Still there is no shadow, so this is very good. And we're starting to clip the upper part of the sun. Now, what I found through trial and error is that this is not perfectly aligned going like this. So I think an improvement would be to add some sort of adjustment here so that we could tip it up and down. But if I move it just slightly a little bit more and clip the sun just a little bit more, then the image will be in the eyepiece. Okay, so I have centered it, and the sun is perfectly in the center in this configuration. And so I just make note of how much of the sun is cut up on this side, and then I can consistently find the sun no matter what. So here's the real-time image of the sun as seen on my computer through a webcam. I'm, I'm using eyepiece projection here.